I have seen your videos with Prime Minister Modi and uh, your episode about ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell us about it. Of course, I really like junk food. My policy is I eat whatever I want to. When it comes to um, food, I would say Chinese, mm -hmm. uh, Italian. <laughs> and Thai. I like burger, pizzas also. Huh. And when it comes to dessert, I like cakes and ice cream. So this incident happened because I had a stress fracture in 2015. And um, almost six months, I was just had I had a boot. I used to sit and play at times. Olympics mein ye hai ki only top 16 in the world will be there. And uh, I was like 13. Hmm. To come into that ranking, I had to play 22 tournaments in a year. Hmm. So it was really hard. Injury ke baad, two months before hmm. Olympics, my coach was like, no junk, no ice creams, hmm. nothing. So Olympics jaane ke baad, you know, when we had like a, a food area hmm. in the village, hmm. there was everything and it was so tempting and there were different flavors of ice cream and so many desserts. Hmm. And each and every day I used to look at them and I used to go. I used to look at them and I used to go. <laughs> but when I got the silver medal, my coach was like, you can have how many ever you want. Oh, and uh, my flight was at 9 in the morning. Mm. And in the morning, morning, I had like 2-3 ice creams. Wow. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the Prime Minister knew about it. Yeah. And then in 2020, before the Olympics, um, he promised me, Sindhu, um, when you get a medal, you know, we will eat ice cream together. And that surprised me, obviously. I was like, Okay, he told <laughs> that. Then after that, I thought, you know, mm. in this busy schedule, mein, obviously he'll forget. Mm. But... First, I had to give ice cream. I had to give ice cream. And there the ice cream comes. And I was like... <laughs> I was blushing or I was like surprised. I couldn't express at that point of time. But it was very nice of him. How much does it help when the Prime Minister of the country encourages sports people like that? It helps a lot because uh, he came up with a lot of schemes and uh, sports minister sir also was very very supportive. I think it's really nice Kiran to Rijiju. have Kiran Rijiju back then and now he's uh, now Anurag Thakur sir. Anurag. Yeah. Right. That kind of encouragement gives us that confidence to go to another level. Yes. Because see, when you talk about sponsors, not only for us, but a lot of youngsters, mm. they might suffer a bit, you know. I'm sure, you know, to travel abroad, it's, it's going to take a lot of money. Mm. So, if people who cannot afford and who is still number one in our country, mm. and I think for those, you know, the support from the government and of course PM Sir with these schemes and sponsorships and tops, and the Sports Authority of India and they've come together and they've been very very supportive and encouraged a lot of youngsters to go to another level. I think that hats off to them because they have recognized and they've come up with a lot of things mm. which has which have helped us and have been helping us. Mm. For me personally before going to the Olympics I was a bit injured mm. and uh, I wanted an equipment mm. it's called game ready equipment mm. and and uh, I've told them, I've informed them and Sports Authority of India, they have immediately said okay and I think within the next one week, one and a half week, the equipment was with me. Fantastic. It is very much important for an athlete to have the right equipment at the right time mm. so that you know, they'll be completely fit and give their 100% and, and go and play out there and get medals for the country. So I would like to thank them because yeah, they've been very supportive throughout.